Okay, welcome to the video. Installing Eve NG on Hyper V. Yeah, so anyone who's watched my previous video, you'll know that this is my home setup and that I'm moving to Eve NG for my lab environment. So Hyper V is already installed on my host, um, my AD server, and NAS drive is already set up. So today we'll be installing Eve NG. Okay, so first thing I want to do is delete this old volume from um, the drive that we'll be using. And then create a new virtual machine in Hyper-V. Right, we'll call it EVNG, very original. Uh, we'll go for generation two and we shall give it 65536 uh, so 64 gigabytes of ram um, you will notice on uh, my design that yeah it, it has 192 gig of ram on here however um, I don't I haven't upgraded to 256 gig of RAM yet I only have um, 128 so we'll allocate it 64 at the moment and then move to 192 when I install 256 gigs uh, we don't want to use dynamic we want it fully allocated uh, the virtual switch has already been created it's Eve NG management And we don't want to create a virtual disk because we'll be attaching a physical disk to it. So we'll say attach one later and finish. We'll go back into the virtual machine now. We shall tell it to have 24 CPUs and we will attach the DVD first so that we can boot and install uh, EVNG and then once the uh, once we've booted from the DVD we'll go ahead and attach the hard drive uh, so I place this just on my C drive make it handy so okay to that and we'll start her up Okay, and it's trying to boot from network, so we'll shut that down. Go into the virtual machine settings, in firmware, and we'll put the DVD as the first bootable device. And we'll try again. Okay, interesting. Ah, yes, okay. So for Eve NG, you have to uh, disable secure boot. Forgot about that. Okay, that's much better. Uh, so we are going for a bare install rather than the VM. Uh, English, yes. Uh, United Kingdom. Uh, no, we don't want to align keys. Uh, English UK. Yeah, that's fine.
OK, this is probably going to fail because I don't have DHCP set up on the VLAN that this is connected to, uh, which is uh, actually what I want. I'll be configuring this with a static IP. Okay, that's good, as expected. Uh, yes, configure network manually. And this will be on 10.10.10.88 is the network and it's a slash 29. Uh, so 90 is already configured on the firewall. So this will be, uh, this will actually be 91. 89 is going to be the address that I use for a router that's going to be in, in my lab that I will use to route out of my lab out to the internet. So this will be 91 uh, slash 29 as mentioned. Uh, 90 is configured on the firewall, that'll be the default gateway. Uh, name server is my home server, uh, which I need to start up actually. In fact, what I will do is I will just configure it for now with uh, Cisco's DNS, what used to be Open DNS. Name will be Evan G. And the main name will be home.local. Okay, so while that's waiting, what we will do is we will go ahead and attach our hard drive. So it's a physical disk we're going for. And is the two terabyte RAID 0. Uh, yes, we want to use the entire disk. That's the one. And yes, we're happy with what we've selected. No proxy, that's fine.
Okay, and as this is taking a while, I'll pause the recording there and pick it up when this is finished. Okay, and we're back. Um, we are going to install updates automatically. Okay, so we need to reboot and we need to remove the DVD drive. Okay. Okay, so hopefully I've configured my network settings correctly and this can reach out to the internet to finish off the installation. And I have not. Why isn't that working? Okay, I will pause the video there, uh, take a look at my network settings internally and come back to it. Okay, so we are back. Um, it turned out that I had configured the interface on my firewall but forgot to set a security level on it so it wasn't allowing me to root out. Uh, I've had to start the installation again but I've got us back to the same point of where we were so we need to reboot and uh, detach the DVD drive. So let's go ahead and do that. And now, hopefully, this time, we should start to reach out to some URLs and finish the installation. Yeah, this is looking much better. Okay, this seems happy enough, so I will pause the video here and pick it back up when the installation's finished. Okay, so that's the installation complete. <clears throat> um, you'll notice when you uh, boot it up that you have this warning message here. Neither Intel VTX or AMD found. <clears throat> so this is Hyper-V saying that it's not allowing EVNG to do its own virtualization. And the way we get around this is we run a PowerShell command to enable it. So we need PowerShell opened up as administrator. And then the command we need is set dash. Processor dash Eve and G is uh, dash um, VM name Eve and G dash XP 
expose virtualization extensions dollar true ah right okay so we need to shut the virtual machine down first Okay, we'll just turn it off from that. Run that command again. Okay, and now when we boot up, we should be good to go. Okay. Yeah, now that the virtual machine's set up, it's told me the checkpoints are failing, and that's because I have a, a physical disk attached. So turn that off. back up okay looking promising Bit of luck. Wait for it to boot up. OK, and we can see that the error has disappeared. So let's log in. Um, weirdly enough, it's not showing my IP. Interesting. OK, we can configure that. Taken either, so we'll add that. Okay, quite 
quite important that DNS works for EvenG as well. Okay, so it looks like the DNS settings haven't taken either. Okay, so DNS issues are now resolved. Yep. Um, these are the commands that I used to go into the DNS file and edit the uh, DNS URL. Um, took me two or three goes, so I'm not a, a Linux guy by any stretch of the imagination. To, so I didn't, uh, didn't record it because it was uh, me just fumbling around a little bit, but these are the commands that you need to configure if your DNS settings don't take. Okay, so now with a bit of luck. Here we go. And there we go, that is even installed and ready to use. I shall make some further videos on me setting up um, different devices. Uh, I'll probably do it by vendor, so Cisco, Checkpoint, 48, etc. Uh, thanks for watching.